Citizens, the fact that you are here with me today at this ungodly hour tells me that you are the true Americans, the real Americans, the American Americans, my kind of people. Good morning. I am Ronald Trump, the 45th and final president of the United States. I'd like to start today with a little story. It's a story of the American dream. A little boy grows up in Queens, New York. He comes of age, his father gives him a million dollars, just like in every other American family. He goes into the family business, Caucasian real estate. He loses, he loses a billion dollars in 10 years, pays no taxes, owes hundreds of millions of dollars, declares bankruptcy six times. And yet he still finds time to find, to create a university that's not a university, a foundation that's not a foundation. This successful businessman is such a super salesman, he becomes president of the United States. So I stand before you, your reality TV president. Now I'd like to get a few things off my chest today and I'll be speaking metaphorically, of course. <laughs> First of all, as you know, I have a pandemic to run. I am patient zero. Now the press, and we all know the press is the enema of the people. <laughs> the press would have you believe I have no plan, but I have a clear three-step plan. Step one, if all else fails, I'll simply sign a document abolishing the pandemic, a technical paper, <laughs> outlawing the pandemic, problem solved. <laughs> Step two, since this is a coronavirus, we will import no more corona from Mexico. <laughs> Any corona on the shelves will be sold because as we all know, capitalism is our one true religion. And now, step three, I'd like to introduce you to Ronald Reagan. <laughs> no relation. This magical item will handle everything we need to do for the pandemic. Step one, press a button. It will tell you right away if you have the pandemic. Step two, press a button and it will bathe you in a soothing, healing light. And step three, press a button and it will bathe you in bleach. <laughs> this magical device can be yours today for $9.95 at shump.com. <laughs> but wait, order now, I'll throw in a second item for free. Simply pay the shipping and handling of $9.95. Another, <laughs> another great deal, the art of the deal. Another problem solved by your resident genius. Now let's talk about taxes. The media would have you believe that I pay no taxes. Now this is true, but they don't tell you the reason for this. The IRS, the Infernal Revenue Service, has decided that I am a charity. <laughs> Why? Because I've turned public service into private service into self-service. <laughs> I am a charity. But wait, hold on for this. The IRS has also decided that I am a religion. <laughs> for obvious reasons. My followers will believe anything I say. They take everything I say on faith. And as we all know, faith, <clears throat> believing in something that no one in his right mind would believe in. So that's according to the IRS. Now there's an ugly rumor out there that I cannot read. That's not true. I choose not to read. <laughs> Why? Well, reading is boring. It's like work. Why would you want to read? So there will be no reading in my administration. Besides, <laughs> reading leads to thinking. Then thinking leads to protesting, looting, rioting, 
The next thing you know, we have another Boston Tea Party on our hands. And no one wants that. I mean, it's un-American. It leads to anarchy. Anarchy. And as we all know, I and I alone can deliver that constant chaos that the American people want on their televisions every day. Now, I have to talk about this QAnon. Anon stands for anomalous. QAnon, these are good people. They like me, so I like them. They are against Satan worshipers eating children. Now, I'm against eating children. It's not just the nutritional value or, or the flavor. I just think it's in bad taste. Now, I know that some Americans are cannibals and some are not cannibals. And I know there are good people on both sides. I myself have some good friends who are cannibals. Rudy Giuliani, Mitch McConnell, Ted Cruz. But who are we kidding? I have no friends. <laughs> but we should have the freedom to eat anyone we want in America. With apologies. Now, there are two things that I want to point out to you about America. The last minute meeting came out. First of all, you have to ask yourself, are you an American or an American? Because those of us who are American, we speak one language, American. We may not speak it well, but we speak it good. <laughs> and then you have to also ask yourself, how do you spell American? because you can't spell American without me, M-E. You see, you spell, how do you spell American? A-M-E-R-I-C-A-N. <laughs> so you can't spell America without me, and I am your savior. I am your superhero. I alone can save the nation from itself. <laughs> I alone can save the planet. I alone can save the universe. So remember, on election day, this guy's vote good. for me. And I'll leave you with the words of Oscar Wilde, life is too important to be taken seriously. So have fun.